I do have to get back to Joe Biden. I've got to show you this full clip of him trying to read an excerpt from a poem. Now, keep in mind, this is a poem that was that he's heard delivered. It was at, delivered at Barack Obama's uh, inauguration, and he's reading it from a teleprompter, and look how well he goes. Richard Blanco uh, returned to a poem he wrote from the second inaugural of Barack and me. A poem, one today, it says, and always one moon like a silent drum tapping at every rooftop and every window on every, in, of every county, country. I'm, let me start this over again. <laughs> I'm getting so intimidated by you being here. <laughs> and always one moon like a silent drum tapping on every rooftop and every window of one country, county, county, all of us facing the stars. Hope, a new constellation, waiting for us to map it, waiting for us to name it together. That, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> is the leader of the free world. Justin, the whole poem <laughs> is about one country, about America. The whole <laughs> poem is based on one country, and he can't work out whether it's a country or a county. What's, uh, what's that old saying that uh, truth is like poetry and most people hate Poetry. Uh, so I would say the truth is that Joe's probably... I, I, he just goes from bad to worse. So I, I, I would really hope that he doesn't win, run in the next election. No, uh, I don't know what the hell we can do about it, but it, it's a damn... And look, perhaps if he stands up at the first debate and reads some poetry, that it's, might fix it up. It's great perhaps. entertainment. Maybe some of those millions coming from China can buy him some poetry books. That's all the time we've got for you. Thanks so much for joining us, Liz Stora and Justin Smith for the Wednesday Wrangle.